Coach, big 5-3 win today against UC Davis to open up the last week of the regular season. Harris with a big home run. Christian Stamp with a big home run. Pitching staff as a whole. I allowed three runs. Weston pick up the win. Two minutes there, innings of relief. Just overall, your thoughts on the game. Yeah, I'd say this was a pitching and defense win for sure. Um, all nine innings, we were competitive on the mound. Made mostly every play behind them. If, if we do that more, we'd probably have more win column, more in the win column. But it was fun to see a couple big blows. We did manufacture some runs with some bunts and some steals too. So just a complete effort for everyone that was on the field today. Uh, it's tough. You know, overall, I'm really proud of the team because we had a week off. It's been a tough stretch, a couple losses in a row kind of out of the race, be easy to give in, but it was really fun to see the guys after a few days off in finals part of the school year to rise up, play together, have some fun and win a game. It says a lot about who they are. Uh, Jesse got stuck today, nine up, nine down, didn't allow a hit, struck out, all, struck out four batters. Just what you see from him today and I'm where, where after the midweek after you start with him. Right, we see what we mostly always see from Jesse. Uh, it's his last week of playing college baseball and he wanted, he told us he wanted to pitch as much as possible and you know, rare situation where we didn't play last weekend. So we used that to our benefit and he got us off to a good start. A lot of baseball is just putting early zeros up and getting a lead and setting the tone. And Jesse has done that almost every single start this year. So nothing different today out of him. It was great to see. Uh, first blow of the game was Harris' two run homer. He keeps leading the, leading the team. And obviously he's the leader in stolen bases. Just trying that dynamic ability at top of the order. Just overall what you see from uh, pretty much what we always see, he's pretty consistent. He has the ability to do almost anything you ask a hitter to do in the box. But that inning started with a phenomenal at bat out of Ryan Martinez and then Tyler bunted him over. Um, the things we've been trying to do as an offense, that was really important. And then it's funny how when you play the small game, the big game seems to follow and that one big swing kind of loosened everybody up. So it's fun to see all those things we talk about all year come to fruition in a three batter sequence. Now you mentioned Ryan, he had the he get the game open when he was tied late with his RBI single. So what do you see from him and what he's provided for you guys today in the order of playing a lot of short stuff this season? Yeah, another progression of really good at bats in front of him and then him capitalizing. That was another leadoff single, a bunt, and a big hit up the middle where Matty scored from second. Uh, and today Ryan's defense was phenomenal. So all those things put together, a uh, really good day out of him and just the kind of stuff we've been trying to incorporate all season long. It's, it's like I said, it's fun to see it all come together. Uh, Weston shut the door today with two and a third innings in the hour run. ERA is now below three and a half. He's been using a variety of roles all season. Just overall, what you see from him today? Uh, just throwing strikes, pounding the zone. As usual, we didn't bring him into the best situation. It's multiple guys on base, winning by a run. First guy, yeah, it wasn't a great at bat out of the kid, but he did a good job. Wasn't a bad pitch. Flipped it down the line and tied the game. But a lot of other pitchers in that situation, one more hit and you're down 5-3 and you can really crumble. And that's what West does. He just doesn't really care what's going on around him. Um, he's everybody's best friend, everybody's best teammate. And it was it's fun when good things happen for good people. So, you know, when he attacks, when he's in the zone, which he pretty much always is, always gives us a chance. And that's why we always have him in those tight game situations. Looking into the weekend, starting on Thursday this week against Portland, the team that's near the top of the conference has played well all season. What are the things you guys have the team to This is on a high note, get a few wins. Much like everybody else in our conference, every, every opponent is a really tough opponent. So um, we just got to continue to worry about ourselves. And right now there's three games left in our season, and we know that now. So I'm really hoping we see more of what we saw today. Just guys enjoying the last week of being teammates together, having some fun. Um, no two teams are ever the same one year to the next. So we have limited time together. Uh, hopefully we can stay in the moment, have some fun, and you know, take it to these guys. We should be playing free and loose. And, trying to make life hard on them when they come in here with a lot to play for. So hopefully that's what we see. Thanks, Rob. Thank you.